here at the University of Washington, the Institute for Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine, also known as ice cream, is making progress in the field of tissue regeneration. This institute, formed in March of 2006, has a team of over 130 members conducting collaborative research on stem and progenitor cells. We stopped by to speak with ear hair cell researchers from the Virginia Merrill Bladell Hearing Research Center, Jennifer Stone, and Olivia Birmingham McDonough to hear more. At the University of Washington, all of the labs working on hair cell regeneration uh, take a strategy of trying to get the intrinsic progenitor to respond to damage in a way that yields new hair cells. So from our approaches, we're beginning to understand a lot about who these progenitor cells are, um, wh what sort of s signals they might respond to to allow them to form new hair cells, and what kind of restrictions there are placed upon them by nature that prevent them from doing this. The idea is that growing new tissues would be more effective than artificial solutions, but as Olivia explains, there's more to the story. But so we do need the prosthetics because in addition to developing new prosthetics that help some group of people, in addition they're also developing technologies for entry into the ear for new surgeries for, that we may need for delivery of drugs or factors that we think are going to stimulate a regeneration or viruses that we think will reprogram the cells in the way we want. So I see it as all coming together, like I don't see it as any kind of competition between the fields because I think a little bit of everything is going to be necessary. Also working in collaboration as part of Ice Cream is the Laflamme Lab, where I spoke with Michael Laflamme and Ben Van Biber, who work turning stem cells into heart cells. I'm a stem cell researcher. We're interested in using stem cells to try and fix injured hearts. Mostly working with two different types of stem cells, so human embryonic stem cells, which are obviously in the news all the time. Um, and then more recently, there's another type of stem cell called induced pluripotent stem cells, or IPS cells, um, which are pretty exciting. They have properties that are very similar to embryonic stem cells, but they're made by reprogramming um, normal cells, say like a skin fibroblast, an easy to obtain cell, into, uh, again, something that's very similar to embryonic stem cells. Um, and so those would avoid a lot of the objections to, to embryonic stem cells. Non-embryonic induced stem cells can circumvent ethical and political obstacles and only increase the allure of this research. If we can learn to induce tissue regeneration in ears or turn stem cells into heart cells, what are the limits? How far away are we from growing whole body parts? And can we foresee a day when, say, an amputated arm will be able to regrow? Yes, there, there has been a massive amount of interest, of course, in regeneration of, of whole organs or whole limbs. Uh, humans don't have that kind of capability, except for some of the organs seem that we can regrow quite a bit if there's some of it left. However, uh, that's really in its infancy. It's uh, really far-fetched at this point to consider that that kind of thing might be possible. But there's obviously a lot of interest there. So um, there are some people in the Ice Cream Corps that are, are working on questions that can address that kind of thing. But uh, like I said, it's, it's really early in the, in the, the field there. So. so while the dreams of science fiction may be decades away, one thing is certain. The researchers of ice cream at the University of Washington are making great progress in bringing more effective and less invasive treatments to those with damaged organs. And who knows, maybe the secret to the next breakthrough is right at our fingertips. <laughs>